Joe, you said that you're a Democrat. Do you, was there ever any hesitation, you know? I mean, I assume you preferred Joe Biden over Donald Trump, but did you, did you ever think, oh God, it's the president's son or it's Joe Biden's son, what am I doing? This is scary, I don't really wanna see this go down, it's gonna be bad for Joe Biden. So, so uh, I grew up in a very conservative family. I actually grew up with conservative beliefs. So I came out when I was 30, so that would have been about eight years ago. Um, and kind of my perspective on life and what my, my decisions in life, I, I viewed myself uh, fiscally conservative, socially liberal. So, I mean, those are my, what, what are my personal beliefs? But when it came to this case, like I, I thought it was super important to not say anything inappropriate. We can't be joking around about this. Um, and I, I, even in the last presidential election, I voted, but I chose not to vote for who the presidential candidate was. And the reason why I did that was I didn't want to be, if this case were to move to a trial and I'm the summary witness on the stand and they ask me that question, I, I don't want to have to show potential bias. And I knew that that's how serious the kind of investigation we were, we were involved in and serious and sensitive. And I think that that's, important for people to understand about me and, and, and my beliefs. Hey, Gary, I know you're from my neck of the woods, uh, sort of upstate central New York. I grew up in Syracuse and Albany, so you're not far from where I grew up. And my experience of this area of New York State is it breeds reasonable people, not hard partisans. I've heard you say none of this is partisan for you, but do you want to state for the record what your politics are or how the fact that you were investigating President Biden's or, you know, the then candidate Biden's and that turned into President Biden's son affected you? Look, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to get into personal politics. I mean, I, I, my statement in the House Ways and Means Committee, uh, you know, cl clearly I, I tried to dispel any of this uh, nonsense that I was some, uh, some Republican hack um, as, you know, they tried to attack me early on, but you know, there, there's no, there's a, you know, there, and I've never donated to campaigns. I've never had a political t-shirt. I've never had a sign in my front yard. I've never had a sticker on my car. I mean, look, like, you know, if, if somehow I'm supposed to be uh, labeled a partisan because I, when I registered to vote, I registered as Republican, um, I guess, I guess they can have that. But, you know, one of, one of the most interesting uh, uh, interactions I had was after a, a CBS interview where uh, uh, the, they said that I was a registered Republican. And uh, my mother's first text to me was, I didn't know you were a registered Republican. <laughs> Why would you be a registered Republican? So, you know, I was raised in a very liberal household. And, uh, you know, so I, I, it's just, so the, we, I have, there's cases I've helped on uh, in the past that are uh, political in nature and from that were uh, targeted toward uh, you know Republicans and there, there's you know an, an agent in my group that was the uh, was the uh, government witness in the in the congressman Fortenberry trial um, and testified during that trial so uh, you know to, to say that there's some type of, of, of politics involved in our investigative decision making is just Clearly not supported by the facts. That's interesting. You're a you're a registered Republican who was raised in a liberal household, and Joe, you're a registered Democrat who was raised <laughs> in a more conservative household. But this is how you get whistleblowers. You get honest people who are not ideologues and completely captured by their own politics. Um, so good for you. I mean, it explains some of your courage, and I admire it. This summer, big box retailers are seeking a massive big government handout from Congress paid for by consumers, smaller financial institutions, community banks, and local credit unions. That's according to the Electronics Payment Coalition, a sponsor of today's episode. It's called the Credit Card Competition Act, AKA the Big Box Bill. Mega retailers are in favor of it, but the Electronics Payment Coalition is not. They say this Big Box Bill would actually transfer billions from consumers to retailers through eliminating popular credit card rewards programs, weakening cybersecurity protections, and reducing overall access to credit for people who need it most. You can visit stopthebigboxbaitandswitch.com to learn more. That's stopthebigboxbaitandswitch.com. The link is in the description. Learn more, and if you want to help them, tell your legislators to stand up to the retail giants and to support consumers and small businesses. 
Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.